Okay, so mid last week, I think, I found a lightning deal from Amazon uh, on a thing that I've been eyeing for a long time. But the price was a little higher than I wanted to pay, but this lightning deal took 14 euros of the price. And so I bought it. Here's my Amazon haul. I got here today. They shipped it the same day for once. And here they are. The Ateza 96 real brush pens. I um, I've been looking at these pretty much since they came out, and I've think I watched pretty much every review of them on on YouTube and I've been drooling over them and finally they, they there was an offer that was that was good. I paid forty six euros instead of sixty euros for these and with free shipping. So that was a good deal. Recently I bought, as you might have seen, I bought the Ohuhu watercolor brush pens. It's a, kind of the same deal and I'm curious to see how many colors are actually the same. But um, these ones should have more browns in them, which is often a thing that is missing in the watercolor market. So let's open this. A little more plastic than strictly necessary. But that box is kind of flimsy, so maybe it's a good thing that was an extra bag around it. Oh, tape. And here's a list of all the colors in here. And um, with names and numbers, and you can actually get these open stock. You um, you can uh, you can buy them in boxes of four, I believe, with the same color. So, and uh, it may probably the, I think they're like seven eight euros. For a box of single colors and it does make sense to maybe buy four or five of the same color if it's your favorite color that you always use so wow nice ones yellows and reds pinks and some purples violets and warm blues more blues and some greens oh wow Full tray uh, just of greens. Awesome. Uh, well, I was, might have been wrong about the browns. It's kind of the usual handful here in the back. And some greys and a black. Not bad. I'm kind of curious about all the greens. I'm not going to make you all watch while I swatch these. But I will. And um, yeah, and here's a brush, water brush. It looks a lot like the Pentel ones that I absolutely do not like. Oh, and <laughs> the, yeah, well, I'm not gonna use this. The, they all bend down, and that, that's a bummer. That's really a bummer. But, um, yeah. That's just going to sit there forever. I'm not even going to bother trying it out. Anyways, I'll turn off the camera while I swatch these. And uh, instead, I'll come back and do a drawing. So, be right back. So, that took about an hour and some to swatch them all out and I'm really excited about these because I really really like 
the color selection here. I was a little bummed out by the amount of browns and um, I'm not anymore because th there are some that was just kind of hidden in amongst the other colors like the, here's a, a golden brown I think they call that um, a rust orange yeah orange rust and here's some there's some reds too the one there and yeah, so they were there. Uh, it was just not super obvious. I'd say maybe the skin colors I would normally also place down with the, the neutrals. The ink flow in these is really good. I was quite surprised because I've seen some reviews of them where the, the ink was skipping a bit. But I had none of that. It just flowed right onto the paper and loads of it. It's a little different how well they, uh, how much color payout there is in each. You can see some of them uh, stretched further that I never got down to the really thin, uh, to thin them out and others did it quickly. I don't fault the product for that because that's kind of how colors are. I have some very expensive, uh, watercolor paints that do the same thing where the color strength in some of them are just not the same as in others and this is where a swatch chart like this might be help helpful if you if you're in doubt and if it bothers you you can check on your chart and see oh, okay so these two pinks don't mix them in with a lot of say this blue because they will just kind of disappear or you a very little of that with those if you want to mix colors um, so that's just kind of the nature of colors I don't want to say that it's a bad product because it's not it's, it's just how things are I am really happy because they, there's a lot it's maybe a little heavy on the, the reds and the pinks but that's okay I, I don't use that that kind of colors too much in my paintings but I'm, I'm glad they're there because if I need them I got them so yeah the the colors are, are very good some of the greens especially they change color a little bit when you add water to them like this one it starts out as like a bright yellowish green and then you when you add water to it it is more like a bluish green it's not a lot though that it changes and I, it's something I can work with. Is I would just add maybe a little more yellow if I thought it got too blue. Uh, I guess those are mix colors and then the colors are just not separating out. Uh, they separate, separate out a little when you add water. Here's a blotch and that is my fault. I, I put too much water on here. So no fault of the product. So I'm really, really happy with these and I'm really looking forward to using them. There was three bummers in here. There was the brush that I showed at first that is just totally, um, move this out of the way. Let's see, uh, some of the bristles are just totally bent backwards here. Let me focus. Uh, and they were pinched under the cap it's actually they were pinched all the way into into the brush uh, here where it's put together I don't want to use a brush like this I could probably clip them and stuff but don't care then the very very first pen I took had frayed bristles I'll uh, see if I can, you can see there's one here kind of sticking out but if you look at the tip it's like there's a double tip on it uh, let's see if I can get it get some light and get it up real close and see if I can focus on it oh still there it's like it splits it splits out in two 
at the tip here and that makes it actually a little difficult to work with because it, it tends to when you put it on the paper that it will make you have to you can make a fine line with it but you have to keep an eye on it and see there's a bristle sticking out there too um, it tends to to make a frayed line if you see it, so it will not make um, oh yeah, no, it's hard to focus. it won't make a, a, a fine line which is kind of annoying and it, I can't there were some of the others that did the same and I just touched the, the nib and it was like it collected together but this one won't at all it, it is just like that so um, so that's not something I'm very happy with and there, this there's a green that do the same and it is also one that I can't get to collect the the tip up. All the others were fine. They they had a very fine pointed tip. There were a, a couple of the other colors that came out uh, when I when I opened up the cap that the the tip looked like this. But I just and that's why my finger is kind of miscolored. I just touched it and it it went together and it was fine and it was fine for using. But these two didn't. And that one is just. Um, I've had another one where I ruined the, the, the brush and the thing is that you can clip it but it, it kind of ruins the, the water flow a little bit. So um, I think I will have to contact Atisa's uh, customer service and ask them if they, they want to replace these three items. Um, because I think the the price point of, of this box of colors is at a, at a level where I I kind of expect to to get flawless products. Um, uh, there were in the first two trays there were quite a few where the tip had a loose bristle and it was just pulling it out and it was just one and that was fine and nothing more came out this far. Um, and then in the last four trays, there was, I think there was one green that did it. But other than that, they were all all good. So um, overall, I'm happy. I'm looking forward to, to doing the drawing uh, demo. But um, but these three, a mm, little bit of a... It, it, it's, it kind of ruins the, the excitement a little bit. Um, but yeah, uh, I am 95% happy with this set, and I will. Um, I think I will make a separate video where I do a drawing session with these, uh, where I'm doing a, a painting. So for now, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, uh, ring the bell, and all that. And come right back because I'm gonna do a video with these. And I'm gonna do a comparison video with the Uhuhu uh, brush pens as well. See ya!